maybe something cool. We'll see. Oh, when, when do I get rocked? Something's gonna happen now? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna take you on a little day in the life today. We're kind of still getting back into a routine from being gone all weekend. I still need to unpack and everything, but wanted to vlog today. I got a question a while back about like Franklin and how I make sure he, I guess, gets enough exercise and stuff because he's a big dog living in an apartment. So I did this like a long time ago, like when he was five months old, I did like a day in his life. So today I want, I'm gonna focus the vlog on that. It's really gonna be what I'm up to today, but I'm gonna show you some more details with Franklin. Tell the vlog good morning, cause this is your vlog. Okay, sit. Oh, okay. Welcome to Franklin's vlog. If you're new here and you don't know this, my dog, he's a three-year-old golden retriever. He's my best friend. We've lived in six apartments together, so I've got it down pat. The first step to any happy dog is a nice long morning walk, so that's what we are about to go head on. And pulls really bad so having a harness that hooks in the front is like super helpful for that we stopped and grabbed our favorite coffee they have like a coconut drop latte that we're trying it's so freaking good we don't do this every day but we're gonna stop in the little pet store and maybe get Franklin a treat or a toy or something to spoil him a little bit since this is his vlog when, was, when do I get my vlog it was Will's idea <laughs> I want my day. Will wants a, like a Will week on my channel. I told him just to start his own. No, I want it to be on yours. <laughs> so the place opens in like five minutes. So we're just chilling, drinking our coffee, people watching. It feels so good out here. Like it feels like a crisp fall day. Let's go. Toy Franklin. This is your day. These are some cool toys. I was gonna pick the flamingo? No. I think I like this. And this looks nice and hard. Holy sh! It's fifty dollars. Franklin's last walk of the day is usually sometime between. We always make sure it's after eight p.m. It it just depends. It's somewhere between like eight thirty and like eleven, depending on what we're doing. First thing we do, obviously, every day is want to take him on outside on a nice walk if we can. We got him a toy, we got him a fish. He loves fish. Does it squeak? <gasps> it squeaks. Give me that fish. Also, if you've been following me for a long time, then you know Franklin digestion debacle. He has like a really sensitive stomach and I'm always trying to find like the best food for him. So he's been on a prescription food for a while. I'll pop up a photo here if you are curious that his vet told me to put him on and it works really well. I just, it's kind of inconvenient to get and it's really expensive. So he used to be on Purina Pro Plan and that like was okay, but still he kind of had some diarrhea here and there with that. So we just went to this like local kind of natural pet store. And this is what the lady suggested. It's the Square Pet Ideal Digestion. It's eggs, turkey, and pumpkin. So I'm gonna start mixing this in with his prescription food and see how he likes this food. I just feel like I haven't found the perfect food for him yet. I mean like the ingredients on this thing are so good. Like the top ingredients are turkey, eggs, pork, tapioca. What's tapioca? Pudding? Or fish? I think it's like a root. It's like a root used for like thickening. Okay. Brown rice and pumpkin? Yeah, maybe it's pudding. It's pudding cups. They just <laughs> I've heard of tapioca pudding. <laughs> yeah, just tried him on another food. He's hungry. You want breakfast? He's he does eat out of a slow feeder because 
He acts like he's never eaten a day in his life. He acts like he's so hungry all the time. I think that's just a golden thing. Like my friend Crystal free feeds her dog. If we free fed him, he would eat until he just threw up everywhere. He'd be as big as a couch. <laughs> So I always like to put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bowl because I heard water helps digest. And then in the morning he gets two cups of his food. I'm not, I'm gonna start mixing that stuff in probably like tomorrow. And then I always just have random vitamins for him. Right now I have this Omega Skin and Coat Salmon Oil. So I'm gonna give him two of these. And on my Amazon, I have a whole section called Franklin with like different treats and toys that he loves. Um, if you're curious. Wait. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good boy. This has been sitting here for like 36 hours now, so I'm going to finish unpacking my suitcase from the weekend. <laughs> For the most part where he lays while I'm working my desk is here and he lays right behind me and just kind of chills while I work I just ate my breakfast I got it on myself so I'm gonna have to go change in a second I've been really back into my avocado toast fixation I feel like I have not had avocado toast in so long and it's so good and I forgot I am just still working on my app if you guys are new or don't I didn't watch the vlog or whatever. I got assigned my own app, so I'm building something for our company from scratch. It's fun, um, but it's tough, so it's definitely like a big responsibility. So that's pretty much what I'm working on all day, every day these days. I also am kind of working on a little social media project that will be fun. So yeah, maybe one day y'all will see that, but for now, I'm just kind of working on it in my spare time. I try to take him out every few hours, so I'll usually do in the morning, I'll do like a lunch break, and then I'll do like after work. So it's only 10 a.m., so we've got a while before his next little break. Another thing with Franklin, I do try to brush or comb him once a week or so. He hates it, so he will run from me. He just looks so nice and pretty when he's brushed. It's just inevitable. This is just like two minutes of brushing him, not even. That was like 30 seconds. Here is our results. Oh, he is sufficiently been tortured. He looks so sad. <laughs> He's so sad. Why do you hate it so much? Oh, there's that tail wag. There's that tail. You want a treat? Because you are such a good boy. There's a greenie. The other day when I was at home, Will sent me a text that was like, he got me a present and he bought me a domain. So my name, like a website. And so for the past like two days, I've been hyper fixated on just like building a website that is so up my alley. Like I love stuff like that. And so I have like already finished it in two days. So I guess I'm launching a website. I will put the link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. It's basically just like a one-stop shop for information about me, all my links to literally everything that I have, Pinterest, all my like, like to know it, shop my Revolve, Amazon, all my social media, like anything you can name is linked on the website. I have a little favorites section that I'm gonna try to update like monthly or so, maybe quarterly. And yeah, right now it's just a pretty basic website with like my links and about me. It'll be really helpful to send over to brands that I wanna collaborate with, for example. I feel like it's just good to have. Maybe going forward, I will add some more stuff to it, like maybe a newsletter or I don't know. 
maybe something cool we'll see i just kind of wanted like a one-stop shop for all my links all my everything you could need to know for my content creation so if you want to go check it out like i said i will have it linked down below it's been really fun to build it so that's kind of exciting it is about two o'clock i've already eaten my lunch i just did like a working lunch so i made a salad and sat and worked for a little bit while i ate but it's about that time i actually just got a team's message you might have heard that i'm about to hop on a quick call and then i'm gonna take a break walk franklin around the block and take like an actual break for the day body break the trunk of my car has literally been filled to the brim with clothes I need to donate forever. If you know, you know. Basically, since we moved in, I cleaned out my closet. And, I mean, there's no room in my trunk. It's literally filled to the top. So, we are finally going to go donate it. I found a donation bin, I think, hopefully. And I'm going to go drop off my clothes. Lots of winter stuff, but I need to get it out of my car. All right, just dropped off my thread up package. My like order of getting rid of my clothes is Plato's closet. Whatever they don't take, I usually donate. So Plato's closet took literally like $12 worth of items. And then I took out a few that were like designer, um, not designer, but like nicer brands. And you can actually mail them to ThreadUp and ThreadUp will list them for you as consignment. If you don't know, ThreadUp is like an online thrift store. And I'll leave the link down below, but you can go to their website and they'll send you this big, big bag, like prepaid shipping. And you just fill it with clothes and then drop it off at USPS and they'll list some of your clothes for you. So I just threw like a few items that for whatever reason Plato's didn't take like some free people some some other brands and just sent it off to thread up it was probably like five to ten items not that many items but just a few and then you guys saw I donated all the other stuff so one last stop on our little lunch break I need to drop my fashion pass package off at FedEx. I wish there was like a one-stop shop for all these things. Like why do I have to go to USPS and FedEx and UPS? Like can't we just have one office for all of it? That'd be really nice. Officially signed out for work. It's 520. I actually got a lot done with work today. I didn't like I wasn't super productive the first half of the day, but then the second half of the day, I got a lot done and I'm making good progress. I think my like number one thing that I try to do with having a big dog and an apartment is one good like exercise session a day. It kind of depends on the day and what I have going on, but either a really good walk, it can be in the morning or after work, or I love to take him to the dog park because he likes it and we are lucky enough to have quite a few really nice dog parks within walking distance to us. So that's what I'm gonna do today, mainly because I think it's gonna rain. They're calling for scattered thunderstorms and I was hearing some thunder earlier. So I don't want to take him on a long walk and be like really far away from our apartment and the rain start pouring down on us. So we're just going to walk him over to the dog park for a little bit. Wanna go play ball? Can you go to the park before it rains on us? Well, that was a bit of a fail. Literally as soon as we came outside, it was already raining. So just take my word for it that we take Franklin on like a nice walk or dog park trip every day to get his energy out and to get him exercise. It's like pouring rain, so that's probably not gonna happen today, unfortunately. But we are headed to Walmart to do some, can you guys hear that thunder? We're headed to do a little bit of grocery shopping and then just have a chill, rainy, cozy evening. I actually get so car sick that I can't even stand a 10 minute drive to Walmart. 
Like I felt. Oh, sick. you were car sick. Yeah. I mean, like I, my, I don't feel great because my period, but like. I was gonna say that, I thought you were menstrually sick. I was, but like that made it worse. Yeah. My stomach is messed up just from. I don't even know what it's from. It's from my period, but I don't know what my period is doing to me. So he gets the exact same thing for dinner. Not a lot of variety, but that is a healthy boy. Healthy boy. I decided to grab a rotisserie chicken from the store. I haven't had one of these in so long, but I'm about to sit here and like shred it into pieces put it in some Tupperware for me to have for the rest of the week. Will always has some kind of meat in the fridge that he's cooked, like chicken or steak. I had steak today for lunch, like a steak salad. I have shrimp, but I like to change it up, so I haven't had a rotisserie in forever. A little haul. I'm trying to eat a lot more fruits and veggies and less carbs, so I'm really trying to eat like a lot of vegetable heavy meal salads where you can have a lot of volume. Um, bananas are for Will. We got mushrooms, onions, zucchini, blueberries, this super blend. I'm about to like saute this right now and I'm gonna eat it with some chicken and a little bit of rice. Arugula for my salads and some guacamole for Will. I'm not gonna eat this because it's spicy and I am not a spicy gal, fun fact about me. I can barely handle pepper, so. Okay, dinner is done and this is like the biggest bowl of food, but it's because there's so much volume with the vegetables. I did like over half the bag of those veggies, so. And with it all mixed together like that, it's like I don't even notice them. Just have the chicken and the rice. So that's my dinner, girl dinner, rotisserie chicken style. About to put on Grey's Anatomy. We are, I think we're on season seven. So the third of four, like of the big events in Grey's Anatomy are, is gonna happen sometime in this season, which I'm excited. I love to see Will's reactions to all the big events. Did you just spoil this? What do you mean? Something's gonna happen now? You know there's more things that are gonna happen. I said we've seen two out of four of the things that happen. Are you serious? Please don't spoil the show for me. How did I just so spoil the show? You're acting like something's gonna kind of happen now. Something is going to happen. Something happens every episode. Okay, well, let's just keep it secret. Are you being... Little update on taking my antidepressant. I had talked about a few vlogs back in my health vlog that I was trying to come off of it with the help of my doctor. I've tried to come off of it before, but I tried to come off of it without the help of a doctor, cold turkey. I do not suggest that. I like, that was not well. I did not handle that well. I just didn't feel right. But she's been helping me slowly titrate down my dose. And I only have one more dose left and then I am completely off of it. So I'm down like almost completely off and I feel really good. I haven't had any problems. It's kind of exciting because it's something I've been on for years, but I feel like I got on it because of situational things. Like I was in college and had a lot of anxiety during college. But yeah, just a little update with that. I only have one more dose and then I am officially off, but we'll see how it continues to go. About this time when we're chilling watching our Grey's Anatomy, he's ready to play. So, lots of tug of war.
I want the dog. <laughs> the dog for a walk. Is that more normal? Me. <laughs> I'm gonna take Franklin on his night walk. Is that more normal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the hog on a walk because it's night time. Krista gets scared to walk the dog at night, so I take him on his night walks. That's actually not the truth. If it is, I'm too lazy. <laughs> she thinks she's gonna get robbed. <laughs>